Yo, what is going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you this fast and simple way to make burning buildings, burning rooms, all using 3D tracking. It's actually a lot simpler than it sounds. You don't need to use any keyframes, so this is actually, like I said, very, very fast. It's not going to take all those consuming hours of changing keyframe after keyframe, frame by frame. So what we're going to be doing is using 3D camera tracking, and like I said, I'll take you through step by step. So I have my footage right here in After Effects, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be 3D tracking fire onto these paintings right here. So first things first, what we're going to need is we're going to need some really nice fire effects. So I've actually partnered with this website called Production Crate. It's actually a very, very useful website that gives you guys a lot of free resources. Super, super useful. You can go through the list and just see all these options that you can get, debris, sci-fi. I'm going to be going under the fire and spark section here. And as you guys can see, there's a bunch of free things you guys can get as well as pro content. So you could, always, so you could also sign up for a small membership to get more of this stuff if you guys are interested in any of this. Um, so I'm just going to de-click this and show you guys some of the ones you could get for free. So so I'm going to use this one and it's, and it's very simple, just click like that, it downloads it. Now we have some really nice looking fire effects, like you can tell that this actually looks like it's like very good for compositing, it's not like cheaply, it's not cheap looking like a lot of like the green screen stuff that you find on YouTube. So this is actually very useful and I'm actually really happy that they reached out to me and I was able to find this because it's so useful, I mean if you go through here you can even find stuff for like YouTube where it gives you like these free like end screen things. So definitely go check out Production Crate, I'm going to look for a few more of these that I can throw on here so I'm going to get this this one uh, I'm gonna get this one and I actually have a pro membership just so I can be able to get all of this but like I said if you guys just want to use the free ones just click that little checkbox alright so now that we have these what I'm gonna do is come back into After Effects and just click over in your downloads wherever you downloaded it and then just drag that over into your project bin right here so I'm gonna click over here downloads and then just drag this right here Okay, so now we've got all of our loopable fire effects in here, and now what I'm going to do is actually 3D track so that we can be able to start compositing these onto these paintings, make it look like they're on fire. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is actually shrink my camera so that you can actually see what I'm doing. Um, so let me take that and just throw this over here. And then we're going to search under effects and presets. We're going to look for 3D camera. And this is not a plugin. You don't need to download this. This comes with After Effects. So one thing before we apply this effect is if you see this little panel right here, it says this is the collapse transformation switch. Make sure that is switched off. If you don't see these switches, just right click here, go to columns, and then make sure switches is checked. So now we can actually switch that off and that will allow us to actually apply this effect onto here. So now this is going to analyze in the background. It might take a few seconds depending on how long your clip is and also let me just say that this works best with clips that don't have a lot of motion and don't have a lot of things flying around so something like this where it's just like simple panning across some paintings is gonna work 100% perfectly all right so now we've gone in we've actually applied the effect you'll know it works if you come up here into your effect controls you just click on 3d camera tracker um, I talked about using this method for my stranger things look tutorial go look at that go check out that tutorial too it's kind of using similar things but this is kind of different because it's using like actual video clips we're gonna kind of build we're gonna kind of build off of that to be able to create this compositive fire burning effect so the cool thing about this 3d tracker is as you can see what it did is it actually analyzed the camera movement and if you move your mouse around here you'll see this giant cursor and the cursor is actually angled at the right way where we want the angle so for example if you want you can paste something onto this kind of slanted picture right here and it's gonna look very well nicely blended and we can put anything where we really want okay guys so now we're ready to composite in the fire so two little tips I want to mention before we start doing this that are gonna help you guys first one is if you click away from here you're not gonna see this to get that to show back up just make sure you come up to effect controls just re-click on this and you'll see your 3d points the second one is make sure you are saving a lot just because this actually takes up a lot of computer power Doing a lot, it might actually crash, so you might have to restart. To make sure you don't lose any of that, make sure you're just saving a lot. Alright, so now we're ready to start this. So, as you see, if I move frame by frame, you guys are going to see that as I move along, these 3D points will actually stay with the tracked part of the image. So, if I go all the way here, you see they're moving with that painting, which is what I want. Alright, so now we're ready to start compositing it in. So, let's go back to the beginning, and let's pick a point where we want to add in some fire. So let's add some fire right on this first painting right here. What we're going to do is just place the bullseye here, right click on it, and then create create solid and camera. So we're going to click that, and you're going to see this turn into a square, which is okay. So what we're going to do is just take this solid, and we're just going to reposition it to where we want this fire. So just like that is fine. And now what we can do is we can actually right click on this track solid right here in our timeline, this blue box, and we can actually click pre-compose. Alright, so now once this pops up, just click OK. And now what we can do is now that this is a composition, we can actually double click on this and we can actually get rid of the solid and put in any footage we want, which is going to be our fire. So let's go ahead and delete this track solid, just click delete. And now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and make sure we're in our project tab. And here is the footage that we imported before. Let's bring in footage create small fire 4, just like this. 
So now this is going to come in and you can see this is what it looks like as we drag along our bar. And what we can do is we can actually position this, resi resize it however we'd like. And that's looking really good, just like that. And what you can also do is if you come over here to composition, composition settings, you can change how big you want this. So it's 720 by 720 is fine. Just make sure just make sure you check this and if your composition is like 100 by 100, make sure you just bump that up so it's not like like low definition. So that's something to keep in mind. All right, so once you've done this, all right, so once you've done this, you're all good to go. Just click back here on your composition and you're going to see your solid has changed into the fire itself just like that and you can see it's completely tracked and it's looking good so now all we would have to do is change around the blending so there's a few ways we can actually composite this in here the first way is we can actually smooth out the edges so I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that just click on your track solid and then come up here to your toolbar click on this little pen tool and we're actually just going to mask out and we're actually just going to mask out all of the edges we're gonna mask out all of these rough edges just like this and now you're going to see it cuts away from them. And now let's just go ahead and click M on our keyboard. It's going to open up our mask controls. Click this little drop down menu. And then for the feather, let's just bump that up a tiny bit. And then you can always move this mask and see how much you really want to fade. So let's kind of fade that in there just so it looks like there's a little bit more depth to this. And it's not just as bold in the bottom. And that's looking, a, and that's looking nice. One more thing you can do is you can also play around with the blending modes just to make this kind of blend a little bit better. Um, so for example, you can pick whatever one you really think looks good. And then another cool thing about this is since this is a track solid, you can always change the size of the actual fire itself. And it's still going to say, and it's still going to stay 3D tracked just like that. And as you see, it's still 3D tracked, so it'll only come into frame right here. And that's looking really, really good. I like how that turned out. All right, so now let's just keep going through these steps, adding a few more of these and see how we can actually make this look. So I'm going to go through it with you again. We're going to add another track solid. So let's go up to the effect controls. Let's come down here, click on our base plate footage, which is this right here, our actual footage. Click on 3D camera tracker to see our points. And now let's add in another bullseye footage. So right here, we're going to right click. We're going to click, we're going to click create solid. We're going to do the same exact steps. We're just going to click on our track solid, reposition it however we'd like right about there we're gonna right click it we're gonna pre compose it just like this and now we're going to double click it and we're going to delete the track solid and we're going to bring in our fire footage so let's bring in um, this one now loopable small fire one looking very nice we're going to go back into our composition and we're gonna see how that looks we're also gonna change the blending mode just to match the other one so screen and now let's go back and as we go in this is what we're seeing so far Make sure you're saving your project so you don't lose anything. Um, so one thing, since this is a small loopable clip, if that thing pops away like that, just go back to your track solid and what you can do is you can actually just control C, control V to duplicate that and then just make that a little bit longer like this. And then we can go back here and you'll see that that actually stays longer now. And so we'll go back here, click on our footage, go to effect controls, 3D camera tracker, and then let's apply one like right here near the top create a solid we're gonna pre-compose that solid and just keep repeating the steps and just keep repeating these steps I mean it's actually very simple um, a lot of this is just gonna be repeating and then at the very end what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and show you just some color grading and then some sound effects so that's looking really cool it's like the straight top we can resize that to make it the full size of the painting so let's go back in here to our composition see what that's looking like and that is looking really cool so let's go ahead and actually resize that to be the full size of this painting Alright, so I just went through and added a bunch more pre-comps just using the same exact steps that I just showed you. Um, I added 9 in total, so it really wasn't that long and it actually was pretty easy. Here's the final result. So I'm going to leave this part up for you guys' creativity on how far you want to take it, but that is the steps to be able to do this. All 3D tracked, all easy, no keyframes. If I was to do this with keyframes, this would probably take me like 3 to 4 hours. So I hope that this method really helps you out. And there's one more thing that I want to tell you guys that has helped me a lot um, because it's a big issue that I was dealing with for a while. And, and that is whenever you're done creating this, if you're working with dynamic links, 
it gives me this bug where sometimes sometimes that message will keep popping up until you have to completely close After Effects. Here's how to fix that. That is because of the 3D tracker. So once you are done doing this, if you're going to do anything else, make sure you come over here to this and just delete the 3D camera tracker. It's not going to do anything. All the fire will still be completely 3D tracked like this. It's just going to fix that error message. So please keep that in mind. It's something that's going to save your life if you keep trying to do this in a big project. Make sure you delete that 3D camera tracker once you're done doing all your tracking. And that's only if you are getting that error message. All right, so let's come into Premiere and we're just going to add a little color grade, some basic correction. We're just going to bump up the exposure a tiny bit just so it's not that dark. Now we're going to come into the color wheels right here. We're just going to apply a red midtone just to kind of get that like nice, like hot look. We're going to bump it up to around here and then we're also going to compensate that by just dropping down the shadows. So I think that's looking good. I'm also going to come over here into my creative panel and just apply a little LUT just to change around the colors a bit. All right, so let's finish this all up by adding some fire sound effects from, from Production Crate. So we're going to look up fire in the search bar and we got one right here. Let's look that up. So under explosions and bangs, play that. And that sounds perfect. So let's download that MP3. We're also going to look up a ambulance siren just to throw in that kind of like add a little effect. And that looks really, really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys would like to see next in the comment section down below. Go check out the links in the description. Check out Production Crate. They have a bunch of cool stuff that I guarantee is going to help you as an editor. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.